is this place? It's different from the rest of the ruins. I shall do it. I bid you welcome, Pilgrim. I am not allied with Colgrim. You have nothing to fear from me. I am the Guardian, the protector of the Urn of Sacred Ashes. I have waited years for this. No one can take the ashes. They belong here. It has been my duty, my life, to protect the urn and prepare the way for the faithful. Come to revere Andraste. For years beyond counting have I been here. And shall I remain until my task is done? and the Imperium has crumbled into the sea. There is joy to be found in my duty. No, our Andraste has gone to the Maker's side. She will not return. The dragon is a fearsome creature. And they must have seen her as an alternative to the absent Maker and his silent Andraste. A true believer would not require audacious displays of power. You have come to honor Andraste, and you shall, if you prove yourself worthy. It is not my place to decide your worthiness. The gauntlet does that. If you are found worthy, you will see the urn and be allowed to take a small pinch of the ashes for yourself. If not... There is only one way to the ashes, and that is through the gauntlet. Before you go, there is something I must ask. I see that the path that led you here was not easy. There is suffering in your past. Your suffering, and the suffering of others. You allowed yourself to be manipulated by Balin, and you murdered your elder brother, Trian. Do you think you failed, Trian? Then you do not dwell on past mistakes. Neither yours, nor someone else's. It's easy for others to judge what you've done in hindsight, but it doesn't make it any better. One wonders what this Guardian's purpose is. Be wary of his traps. I don't really know about these Guardian types, but I think the correct answer was yes. And what of those that follow you? Alistair, Knight, and Warden. You wonder if things would have been different if you were with Duncan on the battlefield. You could have shielded him from the killing blow. You wonder, don't you, if you should have died and not him. I... yes. If Duncan had been saved and not me, everything would be better. If I just had the chance... Maybe I... Ah, the Dwarf. You left your home and came to the surface, knowing that... Why don't I save you some time? Yes, I wish I could have saved my family from Bronca. I wish I'd been a better mate. Maybe she'd have stayed home with a belly full of baby Ogren and never gone for the anvil. Maybe I failed her. And yes, I came to the surface because I'm barely a Dwarf anymore. My family is dead. My honor as a warrior long gone. I've lost my caste and my house, and I have nothing else to lose. And you, Morrigan, Flemeth's daughter, what? Be gone, spirit. 
I will not play your games. I will respect your wishes. The way is open. Good luck, and may you find what you seek. Smallest lark could carry it, while a strong man might not. Of what do I speak? Yes, I was Andraste's dearest friend in childhood, and always we would sing. She celebrated the beauty of life. And all who heard her would be filled with joy. They say the Maker himself was moved by Andraste's song. And then she sang no more of simple things. Echoes from a shadow realm. Whispers of things yet to come. Thought strange sister dwells in night. Is swept away by dawning light. Of what do I speak? Echoes from a shadow realm, whispers of things yet to come. Thought strange sister dwells in night, is swept away by dawning light. Of what do I speak? A dream came upon me as my daughter slumbered beneath my heart. It told of her life, and of her betrayal and death. I am sorrow and regret. I am a mother weeping bitter tears for a daughter she could not save. An eye for an eye, a tooth for a tooth. The debt of blood must be paid in full. Of what do I speak? Yes, my husband Hesarian would have chosen a quick death for Andraste. I made him swear that she would die publicly with her war leaders, that all would know the Imperium's strength. I am justice. I am vengeance. Blood can only be repaid in blood. I'd neither a guest nor a trespasser be. In this place I belong, that belongs also to me. Of what do I speak? It was my dream for the people to have a home of their own, where we would have no masters but ourselves. The enemy of my enemy is my friend, and thus we followed Andraste against the Imperium. But she was betrayed, and so were we. The bones of the world stretched towards the sky's embrace, veiled in white. Like a bride greeting her groom. Of what do I speak? The bones of the world stretch towards the sky's embrace, veiled in white. Like a bride greeting her groom. Of what do I speak? The bones of the world stretch towards the sky's embrace. Veiled in white, like a bride greeting her groom. Of what do I speak? That is not of what I speak. Poison of the soul, passion's cruel counterpart. From love she grows, till love lies slain. Of what do I speak? Yes, jealousy drove me to betrayal. I was the greatest general of the Alamai. But beside her, I was nothing. Hundreds fell before her on bended knee. They loved her, 
as did the Maker. I loved her too. But what man can compare with a god? She wields the broken sword, and separates true kings from tyrants. Of what do I speak? Yes, I could not bear the sight of Andraste's suffering, and mercy bade me end her life. I am the penitent sinner, who shows compassion as he hopes compassion will be shown to him. No man has seen it, but all men know it. Lighter than air, sharper than any sword, comes from nothing, but will fell the strongest armies. Of what do I speak? No man has seen it, but all men know it. Lighter than air, sharper than any sword comes from nothing, but will fell the strongest armies. Of what do I speak? Yes, hunger was the weapon used against the wicked men of the Tevental Imperium. The Maker kindled the sun's flame, scorching the land. Their crops failed, and their armies could not march. Then he opened the heavens and bade the waters flow and washed away their filth. I am Kefer, disciple of Andraste and commander of her armies. I saw these things done and knew the Makers smiled on us. Greetings, my exiled brother. I would lament your fate, but why should I? You have been cast out to walk the surface, whereas I... You allowed Balin to make you his lackey. Are you proud of what you've done? I am the brother you remember. The one you have seen in your dreams these past months. But the betrayals of Orzammar do not weigh down your steps. You have not faltered, and I am proud of you. Take this and use it well. I give you this and my blessing. Remember me.
That's unnatural. Where I come from, British are either there or not. It's an actual bridge piece right there. If we can get all the bridge pieces to be solid, we can make it across. I am yours. Why don't we just get one person across and go from there? service.
my love. Service. <laughs> 